love He'll it. He'll just come. I hate it. But you've I hit, get stressed. <clears throat> you've actually hit a nail on the head, which is, uh, or, or maybe it's just your, your family, my family. Mrs. Boyd looked up from, um, a Sunday newspaper yesterday and just said to me, do you know you can go to Goa now for just £285? So that was a hint. I don't know. I didn't bite. I kind of went, oh yeah. And <sighs> she went, oh, not that I'm hassling or suggesting anything. Please don't misunderstand me. But what you're saying, and I think this is very perceptive, Jenny Day, and maybe, maybe ladies listening to this as, uh, uh, as well would agree, it's October, you're starting to get a little bit of your sad coming on, aren't you? Yes. You are, aren't you? Yes, I, I can't need tell, something to look after. But look you, you, you need to. to think about the yes. sunshine. Yes. And so actually it's good for you psychologically because women are more yes. vulnerable to sad, seasonally affected disorder than men because we're, what, more robust? I don't know. Mm. And so you need to be thinking about the sunshine. We therefore let you think about the sunshine, let you go down to Thomas Cook's and come back away with all the brochures. Well, all the holidays are identical anyway. Don't they you? are not. They just are oh, so stop identical. It, you. You know, I, I hate brochures. That's another thing. They're all two thing. and a half hours on a plane, but actually it's ten hours by the time you've got there and got to where <laughs> you're going. You get a room. Guess what? It's got an ensuite bathroom. Good lord, and a balcony. No, and you could go in hey. a tent or skiing. And hey, there's a swimming pool oh. and a couple of nice bars. And you're only 600 yards from the beach, which actually means about a mile, but anyway. Oh, eight, four, five, nine, five, seven, double. Well, I'm Papa, sorry. I'm not making you come on holiday I'm with sorry, me. I'm sorry. You're making me very cross. Mood. You are. Were you in a bad mood when you woke up this morning, Jeff? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> Good work. Good stuff. <laughs> it's the afternoon show, BBC Southern Counties Radio. Um, Hindhead, the A3 is very slow southbound at the Hindhead traffic lights following an earlier broken down lorry on the southbound carriageway and up towards Horndean, the London Road, the A3 is closed both ways at the Haven't Road again because of flooding. Mainline trains, all train services between East Croydon and Victoria severely delayed following a line side fire at Selsden. This is also affecting Gatwick Express which are running a half hourly service for the rest of the day as a result of this line side fire at Selhurst. You can update us on 084595 I was just wondering whether I could set the record straight about seasonal affective uh, disorder. Uh, more women are not affected by SAD than men. It's just the case that women are more likely to report it than men. Men are more likely not to talk about it or go to the doctor. It doesn't mean that women are less robust than men. In fact, the opposite is true. They're stronger. Didn't really know you were a doctor and a philosopher. Well, yes, I am. And just to, I mean, when you think about it, the, uh, the survival of the human race would not depend on the weaker sex. That's just not possible if you believe in God or if you believe in nature. Natural selection wouldn't allow it. Yeah, um, I, I think women do get sad more than men. I think they report it more than men. It's because they're more open about their feelings and more likely to go to the doctor and try and solve it. Men sort of clam up about it. They don't talk about it. No, we just get on with it. No, you I don't. We're always disagree. looking That's for the next thing. That's actually not true. If you, you know, read material about, if you thing. read material about mental health and seasonal affective disorder, that's actually not true. You can't say that it affects more women because women are, are weaker. It's actual fact that women report it more often than men do. Well, you, uh, okay, you want the argument, don't you? I'll, I'll quite happily have <laughs> no, the no, argument. It's true. I'm, if you look at material, if you look at uh, you find me a men's magazine. You find me a men's magazine that goes on about seasonal exactly, affective they disorder don't talk, because they don't talk about it. They don't. Men don't like talking about their feelings and things like that. They don't like talking about mental health. What do you mean men don't like talking about mental health? No, they Where don't. do you get that one from? It's, it's true. If you, you name me a female if psychologist. You that, if you look Hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Name me. Material. Wait, wait, wait. Name me a female psychologist. No, if you look Can at you? medical material. Freud. That's not the point. The point is, Young. if you look at medical material, it says that more women are more likely to go to the doctor and report it. More women are more likely to talk about it. Men are less likely to go to the doctor and report it. Men are less likely to be able to deal with this. Oh, come feelings. on. This is, this is woman's realm no. stuff. Here. It's true, it's I'm true. an academic. It's, you can't so just say it's I. true. Oh, uh, what? So am I. Are you? Classical civilization, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, well, in that case, then, give me an actual footnote. Give me one document that you can use as evidence. I don't have evidence. books with me, but what I'm saying is that you can't say, uh, you can't say that more women are affected by sad because they are weaker. That's just fundamentally wrong. And misleading. No, it's not fundamentally women, wrong. It's a, women are more likely to report. Will you stop interrupting me on my show? Otherwise, I'll start interrupting you on the travel, and then where <laughs> will we get? And by the way, there's the the A two eight six is under three feet of water at Midhurst. I've, yeah, I mentioned that. Yeah. Okay. And there's uh, cars that are being flooded and uh, and carried away by on the water. Now then, yeah, you want to climb aboard the conversation? Let me make one thing absolutely clear. I think that you're being far too aggressive. Far too aggressive. 
Oh, I do apologise about that. About and now, if I was an old-fashioned man, if I was an old-fashioned man, I'd ask you if it was that time of the month, but I'm not going to, because I'm not like that. Well, no, that would be sexist, wouldn't it? Uh, it probably would, and I wouldn't agree with that. No, good. But what I, what I do think is that if you dip in and out of a programme and make the judgement only because, perhaps, it suits you, that we're somehow down on women on this programme, then I would ask you to quote me any other radio programme or television programme that's been dealing with the menopause as openly and as sensibly as we have. BBC London have, which is brilliant. They've been talking about the menopause. And You're digging a hole talking. for yourself here. You no, really it's brilliant are. that you've been talking about the menopause, but I'm just saying that you did say, maybe because they are less robust than men, women well, why are, are you one of those people? You <coughs> why are you one of those people who wants to find the one thing wrong with something? No, I don't. Not at yes, all. Yes, you did. I, because I, I what you should have done... You're talking it, about the menopause, well, why didn't you start by saying that? Well, when you I'm deliver a piece now. of when you deliver a piece shall I tell you how you should have said it? Tell me. I I'm will. I'm really interested. Uh, yeah, well you listen very carefully because I know a lot more about a lot of things than you, including communication, agreed? I'm not gonna agree with that, but you can say you Oh, you know more about opinion. communication than I do. No, but I'm not agreeing with what you're saying. Uh, you did say. Let me tell you what you should have said, all right? By and, and that they are less robust than men, and I cannot agree with that. I don't think that's what I said. You did say that. I wrote I it did. down when you said you it. You wrote it down, yes, did you? Yes, when you said it. You wrote it down, yes, woman. Yes, when you said it. Yes, man. <laughs> you wrote it down. Yes, because I can't believe you said it. And what was the spirit in which I said it? Oh, it was. It wasn't a very. Um... You thought that I was knocking women. That's what you, you what you said. I no, I'm it asking down. you I'm what you thought. You. I'm asking you what you thought. I, I'm not presuming to think that what you are saying is down on women completely, but this is exactly what you said, and I just wanted to set the record straight that it's not that women are less robust than men, and it's not the fact that they are affected by sad more than men. It's the fact that they report it more to their doctor. So you hope. You've got no statistics. I've read that on uh, medical um, vague. publications. Vague. I have read it on medical If I was marking your paper, I would say I that is know, far oh, too vague. I didn't know you were going to be talking about this on the show, so I didn't prepare all my material. Then go away, get your evidence, and then come back to me. Otherwise, It'll you're just wasting home. everybody's time. It'll be at home, then do it tomorrow. Right, fine, I'll do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Thank get, you very get, much. Get the facts right, because you're not a journalist That's either, are facts. you? That is the facts. No, <laughs> it's not the facts until you've got the evidence. Right, okay. If you've got evidence... Where was your evidence that women were less robust than men? I made, it, absolu I made it absolutely clear that that is, uh, after my 53 years of watching people, that is my belief. Right, and where was your evidence? Where is your evidence? It's anecdotal that? evidence. Right, okay, that's, as you, and you think that stands. You're asking me to go and prepare a whole argument on research and books, and that you can supply anecdotal evidence. Yes. Well, therefore, because I can it's supply anecdotal evidence, and my anecdotal evidence is that women are not less robust than men. How old are you? Uh, what has that got to do with my point? I'm asking you a simple question. How it must be, it's a fairly easy one, isn't it? How uh, old are um, you? How old am I? I'm 27. 27? Yes. Okay, so I've lived twice as long as you. Yes, but that doesn't mean that you... <laughs> that does not necessarily mean that you know I've seen twice things. as many things as you. Right, okay. It doesn't necessarily mean that you, what your information is more correct than mine just because you're older than me. It might do, mightn't it, since my information is anecdotal. And by the way, anecdotal evidence is very powerful. It's all most people have to go on. And when a piece of well, anecdo my anecdotal evidence... Will you stop interrupting me? Because <laughs> it's not a conversation and you're on your high horse and I don't know why. That's your business. It's good for the irritable hour, I have to say. But I... Uh, let me... Yeah, but... Yeah. But let me tell you that I take very seriously the ac accusation, which I think you're making that I am being unfair to women. I'm not making that accusation. See, what I'm saying is I'm repeating God, not, what yes. you said. I'm repeating what you said. I'm not actually In isolation. You yes, you take yeah, you're taking it out of context. I don't think I have taken it out of context. Well, you weren't listening to the whole program, were you? I was listening to the bit about seasonal affective disorder and You listened to the bit it. about and took it out I of listened, context. No, no, I, t I listened to the whole bit about seasonal affective disorder. I didn't listen to the rest of, uh, of your show, but the seasonal affective disorder section I listened to. Mm -hmm. And you thought to yourself, and that's right, what, that's, um, where, okay. well, that's where you said it. Well, on behalf of women everywhere, I don't think you've done a very good job. Uh, I disagree. Because you've come, a, you because you be you come across, if you don't mind me saying so, you've come across as being unreasonable, unengaging, aggressive and selective. 
Really and I don't think women generally are like that. Uh, I'm not being aggressive. I'm just passionate about And you don't about have very this. good listening skills. <laughs> I'm passionate about this um, comment that you said. And I'm passionate about, um, uh, you know, many things. And I really do feel strongly that y you can't say things like the women, maybe because women are less robust than men, that they're affected m twice as much by season. Women are less I robust than men. Let's I have that disagree. argument. I disagree. I, well, I know, look, can I, I just make a point? Know. Can I make a point? Very important point. You're on the radio now. Will you please wait until some sentences are finished before you jump in? Because yes, what it means is that you're not listening. And one of my concerns is that you demonstrate that over and over again, which calls into question whether what you heard, you heard well. Okay? I, I did hear it well. I did. I'm not convinced about your listening skills. I'm not convinced about your agenda. It might be some, a conversation you've had with other people about something like this. But no, when it comes... There, you did it I again, didn't I don't have an you? agenda. No, I'm just... I'm answering your... your I hadn't statement. finished. Not, I, haven't got an I hadn't finished. And if you had good listening skills, you'd know when a person has made the point. I hadn't got there. Sorry, I, you were pausing, sorry. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And sometimes pauses are important because things sink in. Now, you have to know and take on board that you've been very personal. And I've taken it personally. And that's because you think that men are more robust than women. Because you wouldn't behave like this towards a fellow lady, I suspect. Okay? And that point comes across loud and clear. Secondly, I do believe that in certain respects, like you, men are more robust than women. It's a simple fact. In certain circumstances, in certain respects. And we won't complete the circle on our knowledge of how it is to be a member of the opposite sex until we reach out, until we listen. And get an arsey, frankly, mate, with me, because you heard a snippet of something that you thought was accusatory, isn't communication. It's a lambasting. And I think you've been rude and inappropriate and out of order. But I don't mind that. Let you get away with that, whoever you are. But I will say that I look at pictures of myself when I got married and I was 30. And I realise, looking into the eyes of that guy, just how young I was. Oh eight four five nine five seven double oh five seven is the number. That was strange, if you ask me. Well, it's Alison Moyan, is this love? Well, if you're listening about quarter of an hour, 20 minutes ago, uh, you will have found yourself, I suspect, at one point thinking to yourself, I don't hear this sort of thing on the radio very often. Uh, what I do know is that everybody listening to it will have stayed listening to it just to see what the outcome was. And... I have to say, I haven't had a chance to speak to the lady in question, who's a broadcast colleague, by the way, not a member of the public. Um, uh, what I want to say to her is hats off to you, mate, for, um, saying what you think. I really appreciate that. Um, that's what freedom of speech is all about, and that's what good radio is all about. I do have to say, though, that I take the accusations that I felt were being made about myself and my view on women, uh, deeply personally because uh, I might have been born a racist and a sexist and all sorts of other ists as well. Uh, but one thing that I've tried to do in my life is to move forward beyond those things and to care about and be seen to be caring about and sympathetic towards people that I am not. And I'm not in an ethnic minority and I'm not old and I'm not young and I'm not a woman. But I want to make sure that I always get things right when I'm talking about or dealing with those people. Maybe we, she and I will have a chat again tomorrow, but uh, right now, BBC Southern Counties Radio, it's four o'clock, and it's over to Drive Time with Richard Linfield. Richard. Thank you very much indeed, Tommy. Nice to talk to you. And, uh, what's the time now? It's coming up to four o'clock. Yes, after four on Drive. What do we talk about? Uh, we're talking sex. That's what we're talking about. A survey 60 years ago said this, that one in four men admitting going with prostitutes. We ask, is it any different now? Yes, we're doing our own sex survey after four here on BBC.